Hello friends, welcome to Vidya's Cooking. In today's video recipe, I'm going to be preparing egg ghee roast. In my previous video playlist, I've prepared mutton, chicken, prawn, ghee roast. I'll post all the links in the description box below this video. For this recipe, I'm going to be using the same ghee roast masala. I'm going to be repeating myself all over again. I've laid out all the ingredients required for this recipe. For the ghee roast masala, we would require dry red chilies coriander seeds, cumin, peppercorns, fenugreek, mustard seeds, tamarind, chili powder, turmeric powder and garam masala. I've already boiled the eggs, peeled it and reserved. Curry leaves, ginger and garlic paste. I'll be using 7 eggs for this recipe. This recipe is in association with Prestige Express Mixer Grinder. This is PEX 2.0 Mixer Grinder that I'll be using. I've already unboxed the PEX 1.0 Mixer Grinder. I'll list the unboxing video in the description box below this video. So the PEX 2.0 comes with a smoothie jar or a all-purpose juicer jar. It comes with two blades. One for the smoothie jar and one for the smaller masala jar. We can prepare instant chutneys, masala powders, a lot of masala paste in a jiffy. It comes with a sipper lid for the juicer and two storage lids in case you wish to prepare your product and store it in the fridge what i like about the px 2.0 is it has the suction cups which holds the barrel or the mixy it does not have a play when you're grinding it and it has got a pulse setting and two speed setting mode i'm going to start preparing the gyros masala first so i'm using the smaller jar i'll be using the smaller jar I've added the dried red chilies. Normally I soak the red chilies and I use it for the ghee roast masala. Since I was in a hurry, I'm preparing it as it is. I'll be adding all the ingredients, leaving out the turmeric powder, chili powder and garam masala. I'll be using some warm water to grind the masala. So first I'll grind all of this into a powder format. You'll be hearing the actual sound from the mixer. So first I've pulsed the masala to make a powder format. And then I've placed it in two setting. And I've ground it further making it into as fine a powdered masala as possible so i've not fried it or soaked it it's not going to form a very powdery format now you can see without soaking this masala or without dry roasting this masala ingredients it has formed a very nice powdery format i've added half a cup of warm water I want to create a silky smooth masala paste. So once I've added half a cup of warm water, just screw the lid back on and I'm going to grind this into a silky smooth masala paste as fine as possible. Make sure you dry roast all the ingredients and soak it in warm water and then grind it into a smooth paste. Now my masala paste is ready. I prepared it in a jiffy. I've heated a wok on medium flame. Now to the wok I'll be adding 4 tablespoons of ghee. 
For this recipe, we need to use only ghee. All the ingredients used in this recipe along with measurements will be listed in the description box below this video. For a detailed recipe, visit my blog. In the blog, I've got a detailed review and the recipe posted. The blog link will be posted in the i card above this video or you can click the description box below this video it will be linked so you can visit my blog and visit a detailed recipe there you can see the masala paste is nice and fine it's ground well now i'm going to transfer it to the wok i'll be adding curry leaves ginger garlic paste chili powder turmeric powder and garam masala powder I'll fry all the ingredients. There's a lot of masala paste left over in the mixer jar. I don't want to waste any of that. So I'll add another 1 cup of warm water. I'm just going to dilute this and transfer it back to the wok. This masala paste needs to cook further. And it has to reduce. It's raw at the moment and it will taste raw. You'll have that raw fair taste. So it has to cook further. I'll transfer this uh, diluted masala paste to the wok. I'll allow this to cook. We need the ghee to surface back on top. Also like me and follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter friends. All my social media handle links will also be in the description box below this video. I've added salt as per taste. I've added coarse salt. I'm going to allow this to cook for 5 minutes on very low flame. You can see the ghee has surfaced on top after 5 minutes. Now at this point I'll be adding the boiled eggs. I'll give it a good stir. Make sure it doesn't burn while you're cooking the eggs in the gravy. You have to constantly keep stirring from time to time. Otherwise your masala paste is going to stick to the bottom of the pan and it's going to burn. So we don't need that. You have to constantly keep stirring it. In roughly about 5 to 10 minutes time. The moisture content has evaporated, it started to thicken. You have to constantly keep stirring it and make sure it doesn't stick. So at this point you can check for salt and add salt. I'm repeating myself friends. All the links to my blog and social media will be listed in the description box below this video. I've also translated and posted the same recipe in YouTube channel. YouTube channel link will also be in the description box below this video. All the ingredients used in this recipe along with measurements will be listed in the description box below this video as well friends. I kept frying this egg masala for almost 5 to 10 minutes on medium flame. And the masala paste has completely dried out and it's sticking to that egg. And you can see the ghee has surfaced to the sides. At that point I'm just going to serve it up. It's very simple and easy to prepare. Do give this recipe a try. You can serve this egg masala with rotis, neel dosas, dosas. It is an excellent dish or you can even serve it for meal. If you enjoyed watching this video recipe, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me for more recipes. Until next time, this is Vidya Lakshmi. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.